find the coordinates where the gradient equals something. Now, when there's a question like this in a test, it means you're going to have to differentiate first because remember that when you differentiate an equation, you can substitute in a value to find the gradient at a certain point. But what we're asked, what we're told in these style questions is we're told the gradient, but we want to find the coordinates that give us that gradient. So, if we look at this example, it says find the coordinates of the two points on the curve y equals 2x cubed minus 6x plus 7, where the gradient is equal to 0. So what we want to do here first is we want to differentiate y equals 2x cubed minus 6x plus 7, and then we want to set that differentiated dy by the x equal to 0, so we can solve to find the x's. So, firstly, y equals 2x cubed minus 6x plus 7. So if we differentiate that, we get dy by the x of 6x squared minus 6. And as I said before, we're told that this, we're looking for the coordinates where it gives us the grain to 0. So we're going to set dy by dx equal to 0. So let's do that. So this thing we've just differentiated, so 0 is equal to 6x squared minus 6. Now it's probably going to be easier here because both parts have got 6. Let's just divide quickly through by 6 and I bet that helps us to factorise this. So we're going to divide quickly through by 6. So here we go, so we've got 0 equals x squared minus 1. Now you should remember from the first chapter when you've got this minus 1 there's something convenient about that because there's no x part here. And that's because whatever is in the two brackets must cancel each other out. Remember, 1 is a square number. So if we factorise this, you should get 0 equals x plus 1 and x minus 1. So this means that our two solutions here for the x coordinate are x equals minus 1 and x equals 1. This isn't quite completing the question because the question asks for the coordinates of the two points. So to find the y component of the x values we just found, we're going to substitute them into our original equation. So our original equation is y equals 2x cubed minus 6x plus 7. Let's just check that's right. So minus 6 plus 7. Okay, so now we're going to substitute in our two values for x. So let's just split my page in half. So I've got my x equals minus 1 here and my x equals 1 here. So I'm going to substitute minus 1 in. So 2 times minus 1 cubed minus 6 times minus 1 plus 7. Okay, so minus 1 cubed is minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 1 which is minus 1, and then times that by 2, so that's minus 2. Minus 6 times minus 1 is plus 6, plus 7. So tidy that up, minus 2, add 6 is 4, add 7 is 11. So this coordinate is minus 1, 11. And if we go down the x equals 1 line now, doing exactly the same, 2, 1 cubed, minus 6 times 1, plus 7. So... 1 cubed is 1, times 2 is 2, 6 times 1 is minus 6 plus 7, so that's minus 4 plus 7, which is 3. So that's equal to 3, so this coordinate is 1, 3. There are two coordinates where the gradient of the curve is equal to 0. And you could check that if you wanted to by now substituting minus 1 and 1 into... Add dy by dx to check it's equal to zero.